It is Jehovah. So if you will repent, then this nation will be delivered from what is coming. And I want to finish by saying this. That it is a lot of love for the Lord to have sent me here at this time. In other words, the Lord is saying, Look, run to my people in South Korea and tell them this is what is coming. That if they will repent, I will protect them myself. That if you will go there, I will re reveal to you what is hidden, what is being planned secretly coming to them. Hallelujah. Thank you. Now, precious servants of the Lord, I know that later the pastor is going to announce for you, he is going to mobilize a bigger pastor's conference. But I want you to know that the Lord has spoken with me about the coming of the Messiah. The Lord, the Father of our Lord Jesus, He has finally spoken with me about the coming of the Messiah. And that's what I want to spend some time handling before we leave. What did God the Father say about the coming of the Messiah? I'm sure now you understand why He sends me to prophesy earthquakes. Because these were some of the signs that the Lord spoke in Matthew 24 when He said they will be the beginning of birth pain. But what has the Lord spoken to me about regarding the coming of the Messiah? The one you love so much, the one you serve, the one you've been anticipating, waiting for. Now listen to this. I'll begin with the first conversation and then I'll summarize to you the revelation. When God the Father visited with me in a very, very tremendous way to speak to me about the coming of the Messiah, follow this, follow this vision with me. The night was dark, pitch darkness. And then all of a sudden, heaven opened into the dark sky. And when heaven opened, the glory of the Lord began to enter the dark sky in clusters. And then all of a sudden, two golden and most glorious wedding rings were placed at the entrance to heaven that was open in the sky. And then he began to flip the two wedding rings, tilting them, that I may see all the decorations that have gone into building the wedding rings. That I may see the tremendous design and all the adornation, the beautification that has gone, has been invested into developing the wedding rings. Catch these precious pastors. You will not get this anywhere else. And then all of a sudden as that was happening, then the voice of the Lord spoke from inside heaven. What did the Lord say? The Lord said, from today on, all authority in heaven and authority on the earth has been given to Christ Jesus. After that, a little silence befell the sky. Then the voice spoke again. And he said, look and see who is seated on the white horse. And when I looked right just above the two wedding rings inside heaven, then I saw the mighty, most powerful, white, glorious horse. The horse I saw, this is what he presented. He was behaving as though any minute now he's going to be released. He was lifting the front legs up and he was, he was neighing, the neighing of the horse. He was and down, lifting the legs as if any moment he's going to be released and wagging the tail. And then after that, the voice said, Go tell these people to prepare for the coming of the Lord. I want to begin with this conversation, precious pastors. And I want to say this before I give you this revelation. What a beautiful nation South Korea is. The Lord takes me around to many nations, but I've never seen such a blessed nation. I even preach in places where people have no drinking water, no food, no shelter. But look how beautiful your nation is. Look the green mountains by the roads, the high-tech industry, the big discoveries and inventions. Some of the things you discover here we use in our countries out there. Look at the surplus of GDP you have right now. Financial surplus that South Korea has. When even Europe, the economies are collapsing, they're in debt. But what makes it more beautiful is that your hearts still love the Lord. 
in the middle of all that you still have a room a place for the lord so what is the message that the lord has sent me to deliver to seoul south korea regarding the wedding rings in the sky i want to begin with a common denominator to build a foundation so we can be on the same page before i give you this message number one that every time the lord speaks you must find it in the bible in fact if you don't find it in the bible the lord jehovah has not spoken number two every time the lord jehovah speaks he must always centralize the holiness of god in the church because he is holy i want to repeat number two that every time jehovah speaks he must always centralize the holiness of god in the church number three every time the lord jehovah speaks he will always rebuke sin because he is separated from sin number four every time jehovah speaks he will always point at the coming messiah so what is the message to the church of christ in south korea we know we know that if there is going to be a wedding there must be wedding rings and we also know that when the wedding rings are ready that means that wedding is ready so he has sent me here to announce to you that the preparations for the wedding of the lamb have been finalized he has sent me here to love you by telling you that look heaven is now prepared for the wedding of the lamb but therein lies the responsibility to the church in korea let us turn to the bible so you may understand what the lord is saying the book of revelation chapter 19 revelation chapter 19 verses 6 to verse 9 he says then i heard what sounded like a great multitude like the roar of rushing waters and like loud peals of thunder shouting hallelujah for our lord god almighty reigns verse 7 let us rejoice and be glad and give him glory for the wedding of the lamb has come and his bride has made herself ready fine linen bright and clean was given her to wear and the bible says the fine linen stands for the righteousness of the saints so you can quickly understand the message the lord has sent me to deliver to the church in seoul south korea the lord is saying look only the father knows the day and the hour of the wedding of the lamb of god and yet i love you so much to let you miss the day of the wedding of the lamb of god and so the lord is saying to south korea he's saying look if the wedding of the lamb of god is now ready then how about you the church the church of christ you are the bride of christ you are the one for whom the wedding is being prepared so the lord is asking are you also prepared and we see in this scripture here that when the lord describes the events of the day of the wedding of the lamb that is the day christ will return for the church he says there is a tremendous celebration that overtakes heaven making that day the most important day in the calendar of heaven and so the lord is asking is so important to me as jehovah if that is the most critical day in the calendar of god almighty in